let's talk about Buck's traction. The NCLEX loves to ask about this type of skin traction, so let's dive in. Buck's traction is most commonly used to stabilize an injured hip and is applied to the lower extremities. You can remember the five must knows by the mnemonic, Bucks. First we have B, which stands for bed 30 degrees or below. We always want to keep the head of the bed at 30 degrees or lower. All right, next we have the letters U and C, which we're putting together because it stands for uninterrupted and continuous. Bucks traction is not effective unless it's continuous, so we want to avoid interrupting the process. Next is K, and the NCLEX loves to ask about this one. This is keep weight hanging freely. The weight provides the pull, so it should never be resting on a surface or resting on the floor. And last, we have the letter S, which stands for short periods of stabilization. Again, this type of traction stabilizes the lower extremity, but is really only used for short periods of time, often as therapy before surgery. If you need more help with studying for the NCLEX, you can grab the complete NCLEX study notebook on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying, future nurses, and best of luck on your NCLEX.